morning guys so this morning we're going to be doing a test on the number seven boots number seven stay perfect foundation so let's see what the claims are a long lasting foundation for a natural flawless complexion with super staying power so that's good this comfortable foundation feels lightweight and breathable and gives an even tone beautiful beautifully smooth complexion that looks fresh all day long that's perfect that's what i want it can be relied on to stay perfect for up to 17 hours wear. Weatherproof and transfer proof, which is a huge, huge claim. The transfer proof portion of it is a huge claim. Uh, it won't cake or flake on the dry on dry skin, nor slide and shine on oily skin. Stay perfect looks great no matter what. It says it's fragrance free and it also says it has an SPF of 15 and has a vitamin E to protect and care for skin non-pore blocking and then it's hypoallergenic because all skin is sensitive okay so that's perfect that that makes sense okay so this does recommend a sponge so we're just going to use a sponge and see how it works so i'm going to go ahead and shake it because it says to shake it here and i've got my color in warm beige so okay it's been shaked it comes with a pump which is nice and it's actually a really pretty bottle i mean not that that matters but I think it's a pretty bottle. So, all right, let's go ahead and pump a couple pumps here. I've already primed my face and I'm using in the ordinary uh, silicone primer, the ordinary high adhesive silicone primer, just if you want to know here. And I'm gonna start on one side and we'll see what happens. So, oh, that might match. All right. All right, so here's one side with it on, and the other side with it off. I think it's a pretty good match. I'm gonna go ahead and do another pump and do the other side real quick. All right, so this is what both sides look like with it on. I think it's, I think it's pretty. I really like the finish of it. It's still a little dewy, so it's still a little shiny, but it doesn't say it's a matte. It just says a medium coverage. It doesn't say what kind of finish it has. It is definitely fragrance free. And um, it doesn't look like it's caking up at all, which is really nice. Ugh. Yeah, it just, it looks really good on the face. Um, it may dry down a little bit, but right now it's um, like a satiny type of look on my face. I'm going to go ahead and set it. And let's... Let's see what that does. So I'm gonna just grab a little bit of the RCMA powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand here. And just grab my sponge. You can still see a little bit of the powder there, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on. I'll come back and show you what that looks like and how it does with other makeups. Right now it is 49 in the morning. So that's when we've got the foundation on. So we're gonna call it 6.50 in the morning. And I'm gonna go finish putting the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like with other stuff on top of it. I'll be right back. All right guys. All right guys, so this is what the finish look looks like. I think makeup does really well on top of this foundation. It doesn't move around. And um, I think everything looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to work and see what this foundation does in about an 11 hour period. I'll be back on my lunch break if I come home today. If not, I'll see you at the end of the day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right guys, it is now 1.10 in the afternoon. We are doing a check-in for the Boots number seven Stay Perfect, Stay Perfect Foundation. And so far, I think that this is doing really well. I think we started at 6.30, it is now one o'clock, so it's about six and a half hours in. I am just starting to get a little oily, but nothing that I could have any complaints about. I'm just gonna tap it with my beauty blender here, just to remove some of those oils. I'm not gonna reset it with anything, I'm just going to tap to get some of those oils off. And I think that it's still doing really well. Um, it did not gather in my nose area here. And on my forehead, I didn't have any issues with it gathering in the lines of my forehead there. 
and it's doing really well under the eyes. It's just, I feel like it's doing really, really good. So I'm very impressed so far with this foundation. We still have another four and a half hours to go. So that's pretty much all I have right now. I think it's doing really well. For being a foundation, it doesn't claim to be a um, full coverage. It's just a medium coverage. So, and it does say it will stay on for up to 17 hours so i think the claims on this so far has been really well i haven't seen any difference in the foundation whatsoever as of yet so i'm going to go ahead and head back to work i'm going to come back when i'm done with work at about 4 50 or 5 o'clock and we'll show you what it looks like then that would be an 11 hour mark so I'll be back here in a little bit and um, I shall talk to you guys later. Alright guys I am back it is now 5 36 in the evening I've had this foundation on for a little over 11 hours now so I think that this foundation is great. I think it looks really good. I think that I'm starting to get a little oily but nothing that I would mind i don't mind any of the oils that are popping up right now just makes me look a little dewy i'll just take this blender and kind of blend it away and see so yeah i think that the foundation did pretty well i mean you can still see my blush and my contour and the highlights that i have on you can really see the highlight that i've had on and i've had it on all day i haven't replaced any of the highlight at all i don't have any foundation like moving away from certain areas most of the time i'll have it like kind of fade away here in the middle and it's not doing that at all that i can tell um it didn't crease in the lines in my forehead it didn't gather in the nose area here where sometimes i get a lot of foundation gathering there it didn't do that i mean i do feel no i don't actually i don't feel like dewy or anything like that it just looks really good i think for right now and i think that i could probably wear it for another you know couple of hours i'm wearing 11 hours it says it will go to 17 hours i think i probably could wear this for 17 hours and i wouldn't have an issue with the way it looks it just looks really good it feels really comfortable on the skin my skin feels like it's breathing i don't feel like i have a cakey makeup on and even though it says a medium coverage, I think it does a really good job of covering and just making your face look really natural. So this is one I would recommend. I don't remember the price on this exactly, but I'll definitely put all the information down in the description bar. So make sure you check that out if you want to um, pick this up and know what color I have, which is um, warm beige. That's the color I have. So all that information is usually down in the description bar just for in case you don't understand what I'm saying or if you forget what it is, I'll try to put everything down at the bottom. But that is my review on this foundation. I like it. I think it's one that um, I will continue to wear and will buy again once I ran, run out because I like it so far. So, all right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Also, if you've tried it out, let me know what your thoughts are on this. I think it's a really good foundation and I've quite enjoyed it all day today. Even in the heat that we've had, we got about 70 degrees out here today and it was really nice to have this foundation on and it felt comfortable. It just didn't, it didn't make me feel like I had a mask on my face which is always nice so all right guys that's all i have for you today let me know what you think about this foundation if you've tried it if you like it if you hate it and um if you're going to give it a try let me know so i shall talk to you guys either sunday or next tuesday and i hope you guys have a great week bye guys